On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys, welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. This is going to be a big grind with a lot of potential money to be made. We are going to be completing up to 200 and 83 medium clue scrolls. You might be thinking I'm going for the ranger boots, it is by far the most expensive item on the drop table, but that is not the case. The item I'm actually going for in this video is the wizard boots. Pretty much any single item from the medium clue scroll is 1 in 1133 drop rate, but because you get 4 rolls on every single medium clue scroll you open, it is a 1 in 283 to get the specific item you want. Before we get into it, we have 287 comments on the last video. Let's see who is going to be the winner of the 10 million giveaway we did. And the winner is Donutkins. This guy has actually been watching my videos, I think, for like six years or something crazy like that. So congrats to you for winning the 10 million GP. And of course, as always, here is me giving him the 10 million GP. Thanks for the long term support and enjoy the money. Just like in my video where I did easy clue scrolls, I'm going to be going for the eclectic impling method. I'm going to be opening them and they have a 1 in 25 chance to give a medium clue scroll. And this is pretty expensive. Hopefully I will be making money. If I get one single pair of ranger boots, I am making money. So let's buy all of these, see if they buy. Pretty much all of them bought right away for the medium price. So investment will be like 27 million. The first medium clue scroll is completed for the entire grind, let's put that down here and keep going for quite a while. Dude, I swear, this game sometimes is wild. Look at this tree, do you see how bugged this tree is? It's because of how they probably make the details. I, oh my god, it's just despawning. And then if I go this way and I turn around, oh my god, dude. And now it looks fine, actually a bit off there, but maybe so uh, from this angle, maybe it looks pretty good. We have now completed 10 medium clues, and I think because I'm going to be doing a potential up to 283 clue scrolls, I'm going to start opening them every 50, and then the last ones I will do 83 if I have not got the wizard boots by then. So in case I get really lucky and I get it early on, I do not have to do like 200 unnecessary medium clue scrolls. And there it is, that is the first number 50 medium casket stacked up. It is time for us to go and open these and hopefully get something good. Now before we actually get started with opening these 50 medium clue scrolls, I need to show you guys this. I have 3 out of 115 collection log items on the medium treasure trails. Usually at this point of an account, you would have way more than this. It's just I have never really done many medium clue scrolls on this account, so we should be getting a ton of collection log items. The item that would end this challenge, of course, is the wizard boots, just a quick reminder. And if I do get the ranger boots, the risk of this challenge of a massive giveaway is vastly higher. But let's go ahead and open the first one, and after that I am only going to show the more interesting items, because there could potentially be a lot of clue scrolls, and I don't want to make this a one hour video of just opening clue scrolls. So let's go ahead, the first one is going to be, yeah, about collection log items, by the way, two of them right off the bat. Ooh, first master clue scroll. You know what? I'm not really feeling like doing master clues right now, and there is like 50% chance that I actually complete this. So for now, I am not going to do the masters. Sorry for disappointing. All right, so when you actually close a clue scroll, you get all of the broadcasts in the chat. So that is quite a lot of items. Oh my god, I actually got the ranger boots so early as well. 30 million GP. Dude, people are gonna go crazy in this clan chat. 14 medium clues in. Imagine if ranger boots was the challenge. Okay, we have a lot of risk on the line now. We are now down to the last 10 of the first 50 potential medium clue scrolls opening of this video. So far, I cannot complain. I have got so many collection log items. We will see how many unlocks after this. Let's see, can we get something good from the last 10? I will just kind of spam them quickly, I guess. 
I did not see any wizard boots in there. Does not seem like it, so we are going to have to do more of them. Let's quickly look at the collection log. Wow, 20 unlocks from just that opening. Easy collection log slots. You have got to be kidding me. I have not done the observatory quest on my 1.9k total account with how many quests? 130 quests completed. Wow, I guess it's really time for it. Is this actually intended or is this bugged? Look at this guy, what is he doing? Uh, <laughs> at least he's working hard, it seems. And there we go, observatory quest completed with uh, 260 quest points. Sat up all night to get another 50 caskets done, and I just woke up and it is time to open another 50 medium caskets. Alright, it is time to spam the clan again with more uniques, hopefully, so let's go ahead and open the first one. We have uh, Firelighters, Death Runes, and Yu Longbow for the first one. 4.6k! But let's go ahead and open more. Oh my god, a gold elegant shirt. That is actually twice as rare, I think, or even more than that, than any other unique. So very nice to get that for the collection log. And time to spam the clan again. Yeah. Oh my god. Another gold elegant shirt. I'm actually getting really lucky here. It's not worth a lot, but uh, yeah, overall we're also getting a lot of collection log items. Let's uh, open three more here, qu here quickly, close, and then see collection log slots again. Yep, decent amount, three of them. Well, we are getting a lot of collection log items, but we have not seen the wizard boots yet in soon 100 medium clue scrolls, so it is not looking great for that. Of course, we still have 183 potential medium clues more to go. But yeah, I would definitely like to see those wizard boots at this point. Alright, we're down to the last 10 medium caskets and we have not got the wizard boots, no ranger boots, no boots actually at all on this opening. So let's hopefully see if we can get... No way! No way! I actually got the wizard boots on the first one. Well, that means we have completed the challenge. We got the ranger boots, we get to keep them. We also got the wizard boots. Let's just open these nine now. Maybe we can get another pair of ranger boots. That means we completed the challenge on 91 medium clues. That is so nice to see. We actually got it. And how many collection log slots did we clean up in this process? Let's go into the collection log right here. Medium clue scrolls. And we started with three. And now we have 43. So we actually unlocked 40 items in 9 or i guess 100 clues that is very nice but we did get the wizard boots on 91. you know as a celebration i might as well do the master clue scroll that i got earlier in the video so let's see if we can actually complete this and hopefully get something good from it a bit of a side note i wanted to record when i actually completed all of the medium stash units and i have them all tracked but there are actually two medium stashes that i never got as i step in these 100 clues and that is the one at mount Corolm and in catherby i think archery emporium those are the ones i did not complete but every other one i have completed and in the future if i do mediums again i should be able to get the last two Oh man, I need the flare trousers for this step, but uh, I can't complete it, so I'm going to be doing it, but uh, 3 million GP for one single step is kind of ridiculous. Very nice, we could complete the master, so let's go to our bank and open it so we don't take desert damage. Can we get a mimic? That would be nice. Please and thank you. We did not get a mimic, and that is a very... Okay, 455k. I was going to say terrible, but yeah, it has some value. You know, one of the really good things about this is that I get to keep a lot of the implings as I didn't really have to use all of them and I spent at the beginning 27 million GP to buy the supplies for potentially 283 medium clue scrolls. But as you can see, I am getting 19 and a half million back from that. So I only really lost 7 and a half million GP going for this. And now, of course, I have the ranger boots. So overall, 50 million. Which means I made a lot of money in this video. I'm not going to do quick math right now, but that is a good amount of money to make. Before we end the video, I want to say that 63.3% of all of you guys watching these videos are most likely not subscribed. So if you want to do that, be updated with the future updates of this series and other videos I make, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And until next time, guys, good luck on your grinds and take care.